Hey everyone, I've got a real quick one for you today. So a subscriber requested that I do a video on how do I find matched pairs for transistors. So why would you want to find a matched pair? Well, on DC coupled amplifiers, not like this one, but like say uh, Marantz 2270, each channel on the amplifier is going to have what you call a differential pair, and it's the first two transistors in the circuit. They regulate DC, and you want them to have similar gains. What is the gain? Well, that's a uh, specification on a transistor. When they make these transistors, the gain can be within a certain range. And as, as you can see, what I've done is I've taken gain measurements with my DCA55 on some of these transistors, and I write them down, and here's what the numbers were. But as you can see, I'm getting a little low on uh, the transistors that actually have numbers written on them, and I can't find matched pairs anymore on these because I've run out. So now's a great time for me to uh, do a little video on how to find matched pairs. So I'm going to work on my 1845s. That's a KSC1845 by the way. Part number you can find it on Mauser. Just type in KSC1845 on the search. And uh, you can find them in these, uh, I think they call it an ammo pack. That means they'll ship it on this paper, and you're going to want this. You want the ammo pack with the kinked lead, because then they're going to show up on this paper, and you can write down the gain. So let's get to a fresh set right here. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the DCA55. This is a uh, semiconductor component analyzer. As you can see, there is no component detected right now. So just for an example, let me put a diode that I pulled out of this thing on here, and I'll just show you. You can uh, you just hit test, and it'll say diode or diode junction. So you scroll. We see the red lead is on the cathode, and the green lead is on the anode, which makes perfect sense because the cathode always has this little ring here. And then it'll give you uh, forward voltage, test current uh, information on this diode. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to start taking measurements on these uh, KSC1845 transistors. Uh, so the way this thing displays the leads is red, green, blue. So I like to attach them in that order. Red, green, blue, like so. And then we'll hit analyzing, or we'll hit test. That's an NPN, which is what a KSC1845 is. E. Okay, I switched around the leads, but uh, you know it's a ECB pinout, right? And here we go. This is what we're looking for. The gain is 369. So what do I do? I take these off, and I write with my pen. Three, six, nine. So that, now let's go on to the next one. We just reattach our leads. Hit test 369. Look at that, folks. We've got a matched pair already. Go on the next one. Do the blue one. Do the green one. Do the red one. Test it again. What do we get? 362. Okay. So that's it, folks. I'm just going to do this for uh, all of these. It's good to do these all at once because sometimes the current gain can drift depending on temperature or something, I don't know. But to illustrate my point, I'll bet you that uh, if we put the leads on this one here that I measured, like, I don't know, it's probably been like years now. We're looking for a 378, because that's what this one says it's going to be. We're at 364 now, so, you know, if you do these on different days, your current, your your uh, your gains are going to be different. So, do them all on the same day. That's going to make sure you've actually got a uh, accurate matched pair. And that's why I'm doing this with black pen because these are written in blue pen. I know they're from a different day. If you want a DCA55, I've got an affiliates link in the description. If you click that link and buy this, I'll get a small cut, and I'd appreciate that. So. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, 2230 videos are coming soon. I know a lot of you have recently joined for that. But before that, I've got a really, really awesome video that features this receiver right here. And it'll give you guys uh, 
an idea of how to restore a Marantz receiver. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.